Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calumso, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, 
And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God and follow His ways exactly to love and serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord which I enjoin on you today for your own good. Think the heavens even the highest heavens belong to the Lord your God, as well as the earth and everything on it. Yet in his love for your fathers, the Lord was so attached to them as to choose you, their descendants, in preference to all other peoples, as indeed he has now done. Circumcise your hearts, therefore, and be no longer stiff-necked, for the Lord your God is the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who has no favorites, accepts no bribes, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and befriends the alien, feeding and clothing him. So you too must befriend the alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. The Lord your God shall you fear, and him shall you serve. Hold fast to him and swear by his name. He is your glory, he your God, who has done for you those great and terrible things which your own eyes have seen. Your ancestors went down to Egypt seventy strong, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars of the sky. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any nation. His ordinances he has made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus and his disciples were gathered in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him and he will be raised on the third day. And they were overwhelmed with grief. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of temple tax approached Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he said. When he came into the house, before he had time to speak, Jesus asked him, What is your opinion, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take tolls or census tax from their subjects or from their foreigners. When he said from foreigners, Jesus said to him, Then the subjects are exempted, but that we may not offend them, go to the sea, drop a hook 
and take the fish, first fish that comes up. Open its mouth and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax. Give that to them for me and for you. May their brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. When was the last time you have participated in a cheap in cheap in session? When was the last time that somehow you were encouraged to participate no, for a project? I remember when I was in high school, every now and then our teacher or the class president would make a project and then it would ask contribution from each student which would in turn be responded by reklamo. No? Ano ba yan? Contribution na naman. No? Ano ba yan? Nakala namin bayad na lahat. No? Kaya nga ho, sa mga public school, parang bawal yata ang contribution, contribution. No? However, no, one would be amazed when, kung for example, my happy-happy no? after the class, as I remember also my own experience with it, no? during high school, after class, no? since patapos na ang klase, graduating, no? we would go to a friend's house, no? and then we would do this pas dahat. No? Pas dahat dahil bibili ng inum, bibili ng pagkain, no? mag-happy-happy. When it comes to somehow benefiting us, no? directly, no? we will not be somehow hesitant to give no? our portion for the good of everybody. Because we feel that somehow we directly benefit from it. What am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, it speaks of the same element that also we have today. No? The same element that the church and also the state uses somehow to collect goods from the people in order to use it as a means no? to make projects, no? to fund social works, no? and somehow really to make it as a common fund no? for everybody. This is what we call tax. No? Tax, tax. Ang iba sa atin ayaw magbayad. No? Ang iba sa atin, somehow, um, we will do in as much as we can no? to avoid it. No? Some even would argue, bakit ako magbabayad ng tax? Eh, ang mga officials naman ng gobyerno, eh, korap. No? Bakit ako magbabayad ng tax? Eh, kulang pa nga din ang sa akin. In the Gospel reading, Jesus was asked by the temple tax collectors whether somehow, no, if he himself is to pay tax. This question was asked because since he was a teacher, no, teachers were exempted no, to pay taxes. But Jesus threw a question no, to Simon Peter, no? kanino ba nangungulekta ng tax ang mga hari dito sa mundo? To the subjects or to foreigners? No? And so, Peter answered to foreigners. No? Well, actually, to all. No? To all because when we give our portion, it is presupposed that it is for the good of everybody. When we give our contribution, it is supposed that it will benefit everyone. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, I guess in this Holy Mass, no, we are reminded by Jesus of these three things. And what are these? No? First is the dignity of labor, no? the value of work. Jesus instructed Peter 
go out into the sea and the first fish that you will get, no? may coin doon sa loob. No? Again, it is a prefiguration, parang tipong, um, it speaks of the labor of Peter as a fisherman. And from your craft, from your occupation as a fisherman, there you get your tax. The dignity of labor is upheld by Jesus. No? Second is honest living. No? Honest, honest. After we were to do our work, go and participate in this common activity of the, civ of the civic government and the church for the common good. However, alam naman ho natin na somehow, kung sino pa yung pinaka malaki ang kita, no? sila pa yung somehow well-versed how to circumvent the law. No? Sila pa yung somehow gumagawa ng tax evasion. Sila pa yung somehow, sila pa yung gumagawa ng tax avoidance. No? We do not know why, no? Maybe because of greed, maybe because of adamancy, no? hesitant to participate. No? In their third point, civic duty, civic obligation. That is actually for the common good. That is actually one's contribution for the benefit of everyone. We are invited, my dear brothers and sisters, to follow the example of Jesus, to give our contribution both to the civic and also to the church. It is because we are part of a community. It is because we have been given this capacity to work. it elevates our capacity to do our contribution if we give our taxes. Regardless, my dear brothers and sisters, if the one whom we give it to, no, kurap pa ng gobyerno, no, o pangit man ng sistema ng hari ng mundo, as how Jesus referred to them in the gospel, no? Still give, no? Still give. Why? Because it is a means. Why? Because we ourselves are generous, no? Not because we directly benefit from it, but because it is for everyone. The challenge for us in this Holy, holy Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, is to participate as how Peter and Jesus participated in their civic obligation of giving taxes. Amen. In our weakness and need, we turn to God, the Father, who, as a source of all worldly power and authority, must be served and obeyed. In every prayer, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church everywhere on earth may speak without fear about the values of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all people may share equitably in the world's material and spiritual goods, and that the state and civic organizations may help and protect the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all citizens may have a strong sense of civic responsibility, and that they may actively participate toward the common welfare 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become channels of Christ's love and compassion, especially to the sick and those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the kingdom of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy, every talent on earth must be used to foster your reign of justice, peace, and brotherhood among your people. Through our generous support, may we be instrumental in building your kingdom here on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your Church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should, you should enter under, under my roof, but only, but say, only the word, say the word, and my soul, and my shall, soul be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Yeah.